You've heard of this VPN before, I'm sure. Surfshark, it's a popular provider and I've followed it since the day of release. In this Surfshark VPN review, I'm gonna cover everything you have to know about it from words of praise to honest criticism. I wanna start with one of the few questions any user would worry about, is Surfshark worth it? If there's any quality of Surfshark I'm 100% confident in, that would be affordability. In long-term pricing, it's extremely cheap and offers antivirus protection and breach alerts for peanuts on the side. The monthly pricing is a lot closer to most other VPN providers, so I recommend grabbing a free trial through an Apple device or Android or using a 30-day money-back guarantee. If any of your friends already belong to the 5% of Surfshark users, a friend referral is also a nice way to get free months of Surfshark subscription once you join for the first time. I brought a bunch of friends on board thanks to the system since every friend gave Gave me a free month as well. It's great. In general, while Surfshark is no doubt cheap, I know how to get a Surfshark coupon code to cut the price even lower. Just click the link in the description or scan the QR code from the screen and you'll get the best price, no strings attached. Or stick around since I'm about to answer the question, is Surfshark VPN good enough? The decisive factor here is privacy and security. Operating from the Netherlands, Surfshark unfortunately falls under the Nine Eyes Intelligence Sharing Alliance jurisdiction, which would be tragic for a VPN, except that Surfshark passed a no logs policy, audited, and they switched to RAM only servers to combat that. Without any way to record user data, it doesn't even matter if they're asked to share it. Can't share what you don't have. Now, when it comes to baseline security, there's nothing right home about. Surfshark sticks to the proven tunneling protocols, either the standard OpenVPN or the modern WireGuard. The leak protection is solid and the kill switch is reliable. It saved my connection from leaks when I was using Verizon. So if you also have a crappy internet provider, it will come in handy. One more notable thing is that in 2022, Surfshark merged with NordVPN, resulting in shared leadership behind both providers. Following this merger, Surfshark has taken full advantage of Nord Security's resources, passing several audits and implementing additional features from the switch to brand new 10 gigabit per second servers to data removal services for the Surfshark One Plus bundle. For me, that was huge because the One package is already my favorite part of Surfshark. Having a built-in breach alert, antivirus, secure search is a huge addition to an already effective VPN. Besides, this antivirus was even audited by a reputable independent organization AV test with the latest test rating it as a top product. So that said, Surfshark One is only an additional feature package. By default, Surfshark packs plenty of useful features. My favorite being Clean Web. It's one of my favorite ad blockers these days since it effortlessly blocks ads, it blocks trackers, pop-ups, and other visual garbage on tons of websites, including the one you're using right now. Another feature I find particularly useful is Bypasser, better known as split tunneling. And this is what I use when I want my VPN connection only on specific apps, usually torrenting or streaming ones. Since there are quite a bit of apps like Steam that prohibit VPN usage, I also exclude them from using a VPN connection. Split tunneling, does come in handy in those cases. And there are other features that modify the connection, be it multi-hop that adds an additional server into the mix or camouflage and no borders modes designed to obfuscate the connection, hiding it from the ISP or bypassing internet censorship. Thankfully, I don't need those daily, but in case your network is restricted for some reason or you require additional security, those are useful as well. Talking about connection, I can't avoid mentioning the Surfshark 2024 server situation. I still remember days when Surfshark used to cover most countries in the world, but recently NordVPN and ExpressVPN have overtaken it. With over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, Surfshark still provides excellent coverage with top level performance. Now in my speed test, Surfshark stands second only to NordVPN, which most other providers linger a little bit behind. But despite milking out the full potential of WireGuard, I still find it disappointing that Surfshark servers have not expanded for years at this point. After the explosive growth it experienced in the early years, I don't like that they're neglecting such an important aspect. That said, despite having a bit of stagnation when it comes to server count, Surfshark did manage to stay my go-to streaming VPN. So let me show you how to use Surfshark for streaming firsthand to share my experience. 
experience. So there are plenty of libraries an American guy like me can't access unless I go ahead and connect to the Indian Surfshark server. Quickly clean my cache and enjoy full access to the platform. And funny how easy it is to open up one of the hardest to reach streaming platforms when you have a proper VPN for the job. This performance is more than enough for a home cinema, never mind my small laptop screen. If you're worried that Surfshark won't manage to keep the connection stable for a 4K stream, perish the thought. At this point, the only one who can ruin your streaming experience is your ISP. What a coincidence. Torrenting suffers a lot from the ISP shenanigans as well. I might not torrent too much, but whenever I do, slowdowns, throttling, service disruptions, ISPs love to do that to me. Naturally, Surfshark makes the problem go away. With a VPN enabled, ISPs can't see what I'm up to. Oh, and I don't have to choose a specific server with Surfshark torrenting is allowed on all servers. Naturally, security and privacy have to be perfect for torrenting, but I've already talked about it with reliable encryption in place, leak protection, and even obfuscation features, I'm not worried about my privacy at all. Okay, now it's time for this review of Surfshark to cover apps and connections. If you're a first time VPN user, you might be thinking, this is the time I'm gonna explain how to use Surfshark and all that. Well, no luck. Surfshark does a great job explaining those things all by itself. All the apps have those small explanations under every feature. Very user-friendly. Regardless of which device you're using, Surfshark has apps for all major ones. One big thing I wanna mention is the simultaneous device limit, or rather lack thereof. Surfshark is one of the few VPNs with unlimited device connections, which I constantly use to share my account with friends and family. After watching this Surfshark VPN review, maybe you share in my surprise with so many useful features, affordable pricing, and tons of servers, how come only 5% of VPN users use Surfshark? Well, it's because it still does have a few downsides, such as stifled growth in terms of servers. But overall, Surfshark is an extremely versatile VPN, the only one in the market with a built-in antivirus, especially for this price. What's more, you can get a discount from the description below or by scanning this QR code to make Surfshark cheaper than any other VPN plus antivirus combo. All right, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe while you're down there fishing for discounts. Hope to see you in another video, so stay tuned. All right, bye.